Over open carry of guns on school grounds came before the Michigan Supreme Court. Justices heard two cases today that get to the heart of whether school districts can set their own rules when it comes to weapons. Local 4's Rod Maloney is live tonight in Lansing uh, with how the hearing went, Rod. Well, Kimberly, you know, uh, the Supreme Court admitted from the bench this is a tough case, but then again, they're paid to handle tough cases. But uh, they're also a tough lot, these judges, and they go after both sides equally to sort of mask what it is that they're thinking in terms of a ruling. Michigan gun laws allow for anyone 18 or older who owns a legally registered handgun to open carry in a fully visible holster in places where it's not explicitly prohibited by law. Paramedic Kenneth Herman of Clio did so in a school until the district banned guns. Ann Arbor did the same. Justice Richard Bernstein challenged the open carry Michigan side, considering state law allows cities, townships, villages, and counties to write their own legislation. It argued school districts cannot write their own laws. The legislature kind of was very specific in terms of what it said. And so the challenge for this court is you're asking for this court to go beyond the specific words of the legislation. Open carry believes the law speaks for itself. Ann Arbor and Clio attorneys argued the districts have a responsibility to keep schools safe, and their Chief Judge Stephen Markman saw conflict. Where specifically do schools, Ann Arbor, other school districts, where do they derive their authority from to overcome what appears to be the command of 237.A? Ann Arbor School Superintendent Janice Swift gave the same answer her lawyer gave after the hearing. We are charged with keeping that environment safe, and we know very clearly the federal guidelines say that the presence of the gun in school is an emergency. Well, what brought this case here in the first place is that there were two lower court rulings, one in the Ann Arbor case and one in the Clio case, that were completely disparate. They went against each other. So they came here looking for clarity from the Supreme Court. When will we get it? Probably for not another month, maybe two. We'll have to wait and see. Well, Rod, what about the Michigan legislature? Are they looking to do anything about this murky situation, would you say? Well, yeah, as a matter of fact, there is a bill that had been pending in the Senate that was looking to sort of uh, solve this problem and, and get clarity on it. But uh, that bill has been set aside as the legislature waits for the Supreme Court to weigh mm -hmm. in in these cases. Yeah, certainly. Okay, tough situation here. Rod, we appreciate it.